Hello, this is Regis for a new video on Stratus 4.03 and Stratus Ponyo 4.5, a new feature, a new feature that we sneaked in inside the maintenance series 3, but really is meant to be shown in Stratus 4.5. Uh, this feature is about exporting very quickly or much faster than we used to thumbnails to a drive. So for web workflows, when you want to export videos, when you want to export uh, closed captioning and metadata, you also want to export thumbnails. And exporting thumbnails up to now was a very slow process. So we implemented a new way to export thumbnails from within Stratus using the rule engine. So if I look at my control panel here, I'm going to disable the rule that I set up and we're going to look at the rule that I just set up to create thumbnails. So I call it Regis uh, Thumbnail Exports. It's a thumbnail exports to the Regis folder. That location is set in my destinations here. You can see it's a folder inside the UNC path. Uh, I added the credential to log into that uh, folder. I'm watching my entire FSM. MDI here, so my entire SAN, and I'm going to look at any asset that has the generate thumbnails metadata on or through. I'm going to apply the rule to export this into that folder. The rule will generate a thumbnail marker, as you can see here. Thumbnails workflow were created by Carbon, Vantage, or Elemental. Now we added a native summit export through the Stratus rule engine. So I'm selecting the high for high quality, which is the full frame, full size. Uh, digital uh, quality here. I'm going to name the files hb underscore demo underscore whatever the asset name is. That's going to, to be the name of the JPEG that I'm going to export. So I'm also setting to execute every time the rule condition applies. So most of the time we do execute once only, but this time since I may want to go back to the same asset to apply again the same rule, I'm going to do this. So I'm going to save and I'm going to enable the rule and say only newly changed asset. Now I'm going to switch to Stratus where I have this folder here, uh, which I'm going to uh, go. Now I'm going to switch to Stratus and open the folder where I have all those files accessible. So I'm going to go into my user folder. Here we go. That's my thumbnail folder. And we'll see files that are going to show up here automatically. So how does it work? I'm going to go back to Stratus, find a clip. Uh, we're going to use that clip six here. Make sure that it doesn't have already any markers. Great, no markers. And we're going to identify some shots that we want to create the thumbnails for. So I'm working uh, remotely here. So I'm going to insert a TN marker at this point. I may want to come here and park and add another one. TN, here we go. So I added those two markers here in this asset called TN. And now I'm going to go ahead and check the custom metadata that I created earlier. It's called generate thumbnails now. So if you can't read it, you can always uh, mouse over or you can also move the um, separator to the right here uh, like this to read it. So I'm going to uh, check this box and you're going to see that this is going to be picked up by the rule workflow right away. Here it is. You can see there is the rule workflow here happening and here's the export and the transcode happening on the thumbnails. Now I'm going to go in here. And you can see that right away, I've got my two thumbnails appearing here in my folder. Here's the first one. Again, I'm remote tick stopping here, so the speed of the UI is not the greatest, but this is my thumbnail number one. This is thumbnail number two. You see, it was extremely, extremely fast to generate thumbnails. This is a process done by the rule engine, extracting of the CMF files, this thumbnail natively. A very, very useful feature for people who want to do web workflows like blogging news where you need the thumbnails very quick to add to your blog. You can now do that with Stratus. Thank you.